OK, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we've got some of our representatives here. We have uh, put a group together. Um, it was called the Europe of Freedom and Democracy Group. In the last parliament, it will be called the Europe uh, of Freedom and Direct Democracy in this parliament, uh, reflecting uh, a shared wish amongst us all uh, that the citizens of Europe really ought to have more of a say and that any further moves towards the centralisation of powers should only uh, be legitimised if they're passed in full, free and fair referendums. Uh, getting this group together has not been uh, the easiest thing. Uh, there were members of the previous group who've gone off and joined the Conservative group. and There's been a huge amount of competition going on uh, between a variety of groups uh, who are Eurosceptic in intent, uh, who've been trying to put these, these, these deals together. So it's not been terribly easy. We've managed it. Uh, we've managed it with the Italians and all the other subgroups. Um, and uh, we are very much united um, as a pretty clear Eurosceptic voice, and I would argue politically uh, rather more coherent perhaps than one other group out there that calls itself Eurosceptic. And the way we're going to uh, run this group is we'll run it through a co-presidency. Um, David and I will run it, we'll share it, we'll share responsibilities of speaking, uh, we'll share uh, time when we go to the conference of presidents uh, meeting. And I, I'm pretty confident uh, that we will make our voice heard um, over the course of this parliament. David, would you like to say something? Yeah. Uh, I was speaking Italian. Uh, oggi è nato il primo gruppo europeo che ha nel proprio nome la voce democrazia diretta. Questo è un importante risultato per il Movimento 5 Stelle perché porta anche nel nome di questo gruppo quello che è la nostra posizione e il nostro credo degli ultimi 5-6 anni. Noi rappresentiamo qui il 20% degli italiani e quindi contiamo con l'aiuto anche di tutti gli altri membri di questo gruppo di portare le loro istanze all'interno del Parlamento europeo. Well, I mean, firstly, you know, I'm getting quite bored with these questions about Marine Le Pen. I've made it clear for a year we won't be doing a deal with that. End of conversation, uh, and that's all that can be said. It doesn't mean that everybody in the Front National is a bad person, far from it, uh, but there are some too close to the top that constantly make these comments that are deeply very, and very, very offensive. Um, and that is the problem, and I've said that from the start. So I, I have no comment to make about her group or lack of group or whatever it may be. As, as far as the political alignment between UKIP and the Five Stars movement, uh, I'm struck there's far more that we agree with than we disagree with. You know, we agree with the idea of democracy. We disagree with the idea of power being handed over to these European institutions. We agree with the idea uh, that citizens in Britain and Italy should actually be told the truth about what's going on here. Now, there may be some differences of interpretation in terms of the environment. We are deeply sceptical about wind energy, and uh, we think it costs too much money. Uh, but, you know, we've joined a group. We've agreed today a statute for this group, which we'll publish on our website within the next half an hour. And that outlines the principles with which we're going to work. It outlines the heads of agreement. And we are absolutely free in this group, if we disagree on an issue, to vote in different ways and not to be bound. And that goes for all of our members to be bound uh, by anyone else. So I am perfectly happy and comfortable with the deal that these seven different subgroups have struck. Come diceva Mr. Farage, siamo assolutamente liberi di esporre il nostro voto su qualsiasi tematica. La posizione del Movimento 5 Stelle è sempre stata la stessa, lo è da anni. Noi abbiamo sempre detto che voteremo a favore di qualsiasi cosa vada a favore dei cittadini e che sia compatibile ovviamente con il nostro programma. Continueremo a farlo, da qualsiasi parte la proposta arrivi, sia da destra che da sinistra, sia da Renzi che da qualcun altro. La nostra posizione è sempre stata questa, non è mai cambiata, lo, lo attuiamo, la attuiamo dal più piccolo dei consigli comunali fino alla più grande istituzione che è il Parlamento europeo. UKIP will play a less active role in the ultimate formulation of legislation in the role of vice presidents and coordinators. We might have one or two, but it will be a very small priority for UKIP. It will be a much bigger priority for Five Star and for other delegations in this group. So we'll all choose our differing uh, priorities, but we will be a very clear, consistent, questioning voice in this chamber, uh, and I think, as I said to you earlier, we will be a coherent political unit, and that I think is the important thing. You, you are seven nations now, uh, you managed to, to put together seven nations. Are you afraid that someone will be defecting over the next year or over the next few years? This is a question for you, Mr. Farage. Uh, al Cinque Stelle vorrei domandare 
Dove vi siederete? Avete deciso dove vi siederete nell'emiciclo? Nell al centro, a destra, a sinistra? Prendo in una sedia. In qualsiasi sì. No, in quale posizione? In quella che ci daranno, non, siamo, non è che siamo molto interessati alla posizione, noi cercheremo di spostarci il più possibile verso destra, verso, scusate, verso sinistra, perché, perché comunque la composizione del gruppo è cambiata, ma sono cose che interessano molto poco. Noi l'importante è essere dentro, essere seduti nel Parlamento e portare avanti le nostre stelle e, le no, e i nostri sette punti. Dove vorranno farci sedere ci sederemo. You know, I don't actually think the other group that's got itself set up that is kind of Eurosceptic, I, I think there are a lot of inconsistencies and some degree of incoherence in that group. So I would expect, between now and Christmas, for some people who join that group to perhaps not feel especially comfortable there. You know, some big issues to debate. You know, fiscal compact, enlargement including Turkey, issues like that, where our positions are going to be quite straightforward and other groups won't be. So I think there will be defections. Uh, but, you know, not yet a while, it'll come in the autumn. All right? Okay. Any more for anyone? Right, one more. Yes. Mr. Farad, what is the single most important, important factors for you in terms of the significance of the founding and maintaining of the EFD? I think not having a group uh, and being stuck uh, up in the gods in the chamber Uh, with limited access to find the committees that some members want to be on, uh, with great difficulty of speaking time, and in particular, uh, without you know, the leader of a group having the opportunity, whether it's with Mr. Barroso or Van Rompuy, or perhaps in the future, uh, who knows, Mr. Juncker, um, uh, that would have been a big loss uh, to us. Uh, I also think the point about being in a group is there are exchanges of information that take place, a central secretariat, with experience and expertise, uh, and I don't view a group um, as, as, as being much more than a cooperative pact uh, that we operate together in the mutual interest of the groups. The group isn't here for its own sake, it's here, it's here so that we can get the best out of our membership of this Parliament, and I've been here for three previous terms, uh, and the working conditions in all of the previous groups have been quite harmonious, but I would also say this, and I'll speak for me, but I, 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 I'm half-guessing I can speak for my Italian and other colleagues, we're living in a different age now. We're living in the age of the internet. And actually there is a huge amount of interest out there in the European Union, what's happening within it, who the players are, and what the interactions are. So I would say that actually, um, in the age of the internet, uh, for groups that are posing a voice of opposition, uh, putting this group together is actually pretty vital. Any thoughts on that? Oh. No, fine. So, sir, can I ask another question? Uh, To make a clear a point that has been already raised, but maybe I didn't get it. <coughs> After the failure of Le Pen to form a group, do you think that the, the number of seats you will have in the, in the Parliament will increase in the next days? I, thought, I think I made myself very clear. I didn't say this group would increase as a result of the failure of Le Pen to form a group. I said I was generally somewhat disinterested in that subject. What I did say in answer to the question over there was that I felt that, that, that within the ECR group there were certain quite big political contradictions, and I think between now uh, and, 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 and the end of uh, this uh, calendar year, there will be opportunities for more groups to join us. Anyway, point is, we've established it, we are the co-presidents of this group, uh, yeah. with our supporters, and, and thank you very much everybody, and we'll see you all very soon. Thanks. Thank you.